All right, guys, well, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded any videos, and honestly, I haven't been doing much. I have been slammed at work with the travel holidays and all the weather that we've had in the Pacific Northwest. It's been kind of a mess, and I literally go for two to three day trip with my airline and then come home and have one, maybe two days off. And honestly, there just hasn't been enough time to jump in and get working on that boat and get this project moving on. So I've been kind of picking smaller little projects that still need to get done at my house i.e i put a new hitch on my truck things like that cleaning up my parts room things like that because i only have a little bit of time in between my trips so that is why there hasn't been any progress or build videos because i haven't been building anything so this video is an update on the engine i'm pretty excited about that Bradley down at Jerry uh, Race Engines in Australia is ready to put that thing on the dyno. So I'm going to um, show some um, time-lapse build video that he sent me as well as some finished product pictures. Man, I am so stoked about this build and Bradley does an awesome job. I'm going to talk through it. So I'm going to kind of put some pictures in there, put the time-lapse on there and kind of talk through what that engine is all about and the parts that are in it and i'm gonna throw it out there if you uh, leave your comment uh, down below let me know what you think we're gonna get out of horsepower and torque numbers from that so i will uh, lead into that before i go into the time lapse stuff it is a 500 cubic inch billet block cn billet block from texas and an angler mechanical injection it's going to be running on methanol that i'll leave that right there and then i'll leave the rest of the details of the build in the uh, in the rest of the video so let me know what you think we're going to get for numbers i know what i want out of it we will see we'll it, i think we'll get pretty close but we'll see so let me know what you think <laughs> All right, so like I said, you can see Bradley, He's uh, he's got that CN billet block. This is a 500 cubic inch billet block from CN in Texas. So that is the base of this thing. The crank, we have a Bryant lightweight crankshaft. The uh, connecting rods are Oliver. I don't know a whole lot of details about which um, which model or style of Oliver rods they are, but they are Oliver rods. So that is the, uh, the, the bottom end of this thing is the CN billet block, the uh, Bryant lightweight crank and Oliver Conrad. So now there's the Conrad's over there as Bradley's getting this thing ready to put the pistons in it. So let's talk about that. The pistons are um, custom Gibtech pistons. I don't know exactly what compression ratio we're going for uh, on this thing. It's gonna be somewhere in the 14 to 15 to one compression ratio. And the other big power maker are the heads, obviously, and these are pro stock heads. I believe they're from an Australian race company down there. So that is the basics of this thing. Um, the cam, it's a custom JRE grind 60 millimeter cam going in this uh, 500 cubic inch small block. So that is the build. That is the basics of it. And we're obviously running a dry sump system. You can see he's putting on the, the pump and the pickups. It's a, a completely custom oil pan that he had fabricated just for this application of jet sprint racing. So I have 100% confidence that this thing is going to have uh, really good oiling and uh, we're not going to have to worry about it. These, this is not these guys' first sprint boat motor. They know exactly what the demands of uh, this sport puts on an engine and here comes the uh, the heads that he's putting on there so those are the pro stock heads i don't know much about them other than he assured me they're pretty much the best heads that we could get so i'm pretty excited so here is the build that's uh, that's it brad's bradley starting to wrap this thing up you'll see uh, more details in it um and anyway there it is uh, big intake ports um i i don't know all the exact uh, dimensions or anything like that about it but here's the finished product and uh yeah let me know what you think as far as horsepower and torque numbers i i think we're going to be in the ballpark personally of about uh, 950 horsepower i've been kind of advertising it as, as a thousand brad thinks we could possibly get a thousand horsepower out of it um we'll see we'll see what it does but uh, anyway 500 cubic inch billet oh and we also are running a um, um an msd pro mag on the thing so let me know what you think 
All right, so there it is. You, that's all uh, I'm going to put out there about the details of this engine. Let me know in the comments below what you think we're going to get for performance numbers. And the reason I'm doing this is, boy, if you can see, that last picture is on a blue stand, and that thing is ready to go on the dyno. So Bradley says this thing is going on the dyno this week. So that means we're that much closer to having this thing finished uh, and getting it dynoed, getting the numbers, getting the tune, and then getting that thing shipped over here so we can finish this Super Bowl. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. Like it if you do. Uh, leave comments down below guessing on the horsepower and the torque, and we'll catch you very soon. I promise we're going to get back to building that boat.